एम डॉक्टर सुवर्षा साइंटिफिक डायरेक्टर विद जीवा फर्टिलिटी सेंटर्स क्रॉनिक एंडोमेट्राइटिस और सीई इज परसिस्टेंट इन्फ्लमेशन ऑफ द एंडोमेट्रियम व्हिच इज द इनर लाइनिंग ऑफ द यूट्रस अनलाइक एक्यूट एंडोमेट्राइटिस व्हिच इज टिपिकली एसोसिएटेड विद मोर सीवियर सिम्टम्स एंड ऑफन लिंक टू रीसेंट प्रेगनेंसी और पेल्विक इन्फ्लोमेटरी डिजीज क्रॉनिक एंडोमेट्राइटिस इज यूजली ए सिम्टोमेटिक और प्रेजेंट विद सटल सिम्टम्स मेकिंग इट वेरी चैलेंजिंग टू डायग्नोज it is characterized by the presence of plasma cells in the endometrial stroma which are not normally found in the endometrial tissue let's look at the causes of chronic endometritis the exact etiology of chronic endometritis is or not always clear but several potential causes have been identified like infection chronic endometritis can result from low grade infections caused by bacteria including e coli enterococcus Uh, mycoplasma urea plasma and chlamydia trachomatis these infections may be subclinical without causing noticeable symptoms use of iud intra uterine device also can cause chronic endometritis the use of an iud can sometimes lead to chronic endometritis due to irritation or infection previous pelvic inflammatory disease a history of pid can predispose women to developing chronic endometritis endometrial procedures also can be a cause surgical interventions such as hysteroscopy dilation curettage or uh, endometrial biopsy can introduce bacteria into the uterus potentially leading to chronic endometritis recurrent miscarriage or implantation failure women with a history of unexplained recurrent pregnancy loss or implantation failure may have undiagnosed chronic endometritis so what are the symptoms often chronic endometritis is asymptomatic or presents with non specific symptoms which may include abnormal uterine bleeding such as intermenstrual spotting or post coital bleeding mild and chronic pelvic pain unusual or persistent vaginal discharge many women with chronic endometritis may also not experience noticeable symptoms and the condition is often discovered during investigations for infertility or recurrent pregnancy loss so how do we do the diagnosis for chronic endometritis the gold standard for diagnosing chronic endometritis is identifying plasma cells in the endometrial biopsy sample immunohistochemical staining for cd138 a plasma cell marker can improve diagnostic accuracy culturing endometrial samples may identify bacterial pathogens although this is not routinely done due to the complexity and potential contamination issues hysteroscopy also allows direct visualization of the endometrium and may reveal signs of inflammation such as micro polyps stromal edema or hyperemia role in implantation failure of ce should also be discussed it can have a significant impact on fertility particularly regarding implantation failure let's look at the mechanisms endometrium receptivity to the embryo implantation can be compromised by the inflammatory environment caused by chronic endometritis inflammatory cytokines and other immune factors may affect the endometrial lining and its normal function making it less conducive to implantation immune balances chronic endometritis may disrupt the delicate immune balance required for successful implantation and early pregnancy maintenance an abnormal immune response can lead to rejection or expulsion of the embryo the presence of inflammatory mediators and possibly pathogens can create an embryo toxic environment reducing the likelihood of successful embryo implantation and growth so what are the treatment options the primary treatment for chronic endometritis is antibiotics which looks at eradicating the underlying infections broad spectrum antibiotics such as doxycycline metronidazole or combination therapy depending on the suspected or confirmed pathogens are usually given follow up test is very important and recommended to ensure the infection and inflammation have resolved and in cases where chronic endometritis is associated with infertility or recurrent implantation failure treating the conditions has been shown to improve reproductive outcomes including pregnancy rates if you wish to know more about this please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you